Hello Mount Calvary, my name is Chandler Gray. I'm a senior at Clarksburg High School and these are our announcements for the week. We are committed to continue providing whatever services we can to our church family and our community. We continue our food distribution each Tuesday at 1 p.m. and each Thursday at 5 p.m. Volunteers are always welcome and appreciated. Students can even earn student service learning hours by volunteering during these times. The missionaries of Mount Calvary provide discounted nutritious food through the SHARE program each month. If you have submitted and prepaid for a meal this month, you may pick up your meal on Saturday, October 23rd. If you are interested in purchasing a Thanksgiving holiday meal in November, please submit your order and payment by November 7th. The state of Maryland has implemented a senior citizen call check and notification system. The system is available for any individual 65 years of age and older. This statewide program offers daily wellness checking calls. That means someone can call your home to check on you every day. It also provides important notifications about the weather, scams, and other activities to our seniors. If your ministry has an announcement for an upcoming event, just want to share information or submit names for the prayer list, please provide this information to the church office no later than 10 a.m. each Thursday morning. Congratulations to the Health and Wellness Ministry. In collaboration with the African American Health Program, the National Center for Children and Families, and Montgomery County, our Health and Wellness Ministry provided a very successful health fair at the church yesterday. Special thanks to Sister Alice Barnett and the team for coordinating the event. All women are invited to attend the Mount Calvary 2021 Women's Conference at 10 a.m. on Saturday, October 23rd. This virtual event will be held on the Zoom platform and will feature Minister Tracy Newman of Friendship United Methodist Church as the keynote speaker. Please go to the weekly announcements page on Church's website at www.mtcbc.org and click on the flyer to register for the event. The Women's Ministry is also sponsoring a Comfort Cases donation drive. A comfort case is a small duffel bag filled with brand new items for youth entering foster care. For more information on the important effort and how you can donate items for newborns to young adults age 21, please contact Sister Natasha Hammond and Sister Angela Jones. Mount Calvary Baptist Church will be hosting our annual historic Black Colleges and Universities Fair from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday, October 30th, 2021. College representatives will be available to offer application fee waivers, student admission, scholarships, and advice. All high school students are encouraged to attend. However, you do need to register for the event and the website is on your screen and also on the flyer in the announcement deck. Mount Calvary, we always need sponsors. If you would like to support this event, please consider donating a laptop, tablet, or gift cards. Contact Brother Carol Lovelace or Sister Felicia Williams Palmer for more details. So far, we have about 40 colleges signed up and they are anxious to meet our students. In previous years, students have been awarded as much as $2 million in scholarships, with dozens of students receiving on-site admissions. Please don't allow any of our high school students or parents to miss out on this great opportunity. You can go to the church website and click on the weekly announcements tab to register for the event. In partnership with the Lincoln Park Community Center and Rockville Housing Enterprise, the Youth Ministry is hosting our annual Harvest Party. This will be an outdoor event to keep everyone safe. There will be face painting, glitter tattoos, balloon art, photo booth, hot chocolate bar, and so much more with loads of candy. Costumes are allowed, but we will not allow costumes that depict evil, violent, or controversial themes. Our partners at Holy Cross Hospital will administer COVID vaccines. All children are invited. For more information or to volunteer at the event, please contact Trustee Brikita Shelton. 
The voting of church officers for next year, 2022, will be open from Monday, October 18th until Wednesday, October 20th. The voting process will conclude at 8.15 p.m. during our church meeting. There are two ways to vote. You can complete a hard copy ballot at the church between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. from October 18th through October 20th. Or you can complete an electronic ballot on Microsoft Teams beginning Monday, October 18th until 8.15 p.m. on Wednesday, October 20th. To vote electronically, you must log into your Microsoft Teams account using your Mount Calvary login information. Go to the church meeting section where the link to the ballot is posted. For questions, contact Deacon Alfred Johnson. It is that time of the year to add your events and activities to the 2022 church calendar. Please provide both your virtual and in-person meetings and events for the 2022 calendar by November 30th, 2021. If your ministry would prefer to stay virtual all year, please provide information about the preferred platform. As a church family, we know the power and worth of prayer. There are so many needs. Many requests go unspoken, and there are others who ask for prayer. This is our prayer list for the week. Please take a few moments throughout your week to pray for these and any others needing prayer, trusting and believing that God hears and answers prayers. We stand on the promises of God, and so we ask you all to join with us and pray for the following. Deacon Eleanor Crocker, Deaconess Penny Newsom, Deaconess Patricia Smith, Sister Anita Walker, Sister Margaret Meadows, Miss Paula Glover, Deaconess Anita Neal, Sister Gloria Elliott, Sister Nancy Walker, Brother Barry Walker, Miss Brianna Craig, Sister Robin Kennedy, Brother Darren Henderson, Sister Doris George, Brother Joe Shelton, Mr. Andy Lockwood, Trustee Burkita Shelton, Sister Angelia Mumford, Brother William Hobson, Brother Daryl Stoudemire, Deacon Sharon Coots, Mr. Frank Webb, the husband of Sister Angel Robinson, Mr. T. John Sasse, the husband of Kia M. Sasse and son-in-law, Deacon Gladys Thomas, Miss Tanya Lovett, the daughter of Reverend and Mrs. Tony Mumford. And in bereavement this week, we want to lift the following families in prayer. The family of Sister Mary McCullough, a member of the tribe of Simeon. Funeral services will be held on Monday, October 18th. The family of Sister Paulette and Brother Ramon Dawes on the loss of their cousin, Ms. Delia Campbell. The family of Sister Kathia and Brother Toby Miles on the loss of their brother, Mr. Curtis Miles. The Sims family, Trustee Emeritus Elroy and Sister Mary Sims on the loss of Pamela Sims' husband, Mr. Joseph Tinnon. Now, let me call your attention to the announcement slides. They will provide additional details on meetings and activities here at Mount Calvary as well as other important community notes. Please take a few moments to review them so that you can get additional details or engage appropriately with the ministry or activity of your choosing.
Mount Calvary. These have been our announcements for the week. My name is Chandler Gray, and it has been my pleasure to share with you today. I look forward to next time. Please stay safe and be well. And we thank you for your time and attention. So God bless you and have a great week.